Welcome back to Zero to Fight Stick, the program that shows you how to build your own arcade controls from the ground up, assembling from various manufacturers and all that good stuff. So let's talk about how to change uh, Paradise Arcade Magenta to use the Link, the attachable removable joystick. How do we do it? All right. Well, when they ship the magenta to you, it's going to look a bit like this. I've already taken some screws out to cheat, but the idea is, well, it's kind of like a standard sound wall lever. They actually use just a base from it. So what you want to do is first, I mean, if you can remove this plastic blacktop, it's going to be snapped in without undoing the screws. You can do that. Um, However, I found it was just easier to take off the screws than detach this. But I'm going to cheat a little bit and just pop it off here. Now, I recommend you mark what's your top here. And then also notice it's very small. There is a Sanwa logo that you should realize it points down towards you when you're working on this. Um, so just keep that in mind. Or you can make another mark, whichever works for you. All right, from here you're gonna see this little guy. And for this, if you didn't already know, you're gonna need a screwdriver to be removing screws. And you're gonna be needing a the mini screwdriver with the hex 1.5. And I'm sure there's an equivalent Torx if you, know, you don't have a hex set, that's fine. All right, so how do we get this guy off? Well, what you wanna do, and it's going to make it easier if you just take the ball, you know, your ball or bat top, of course, that's misbehaving, so I'm just going to take out my ball top. Pay no mind to me unwrapping stuff. Anyway, just go ahead. You don't have to really get that super tight. We just want something to hang on to while we do this. Insert this into the retaining screw here and just pop it off. There we go. Keep that to the side. You'll notice there's a brass ring and also uh, the screw. Whoops. And a lock or a little washer on it too. And I should have done it this way. Okay. A little magnetic action there. All right. So then this cap, keep that to the side. And you'll notice you have a spring. Now, when you order your Paradise Magenta, you have a three springs that comes with it. One's the default, and there's two others. Uh, I switched mine up, so this is a good time to switch that up, too. Now you'll notice you have this little collar. Just slide that off and push right through. Oops. Now, this little guy will come out, and if you, it probably comes pre-greased. I would order some of this grease from Focus Attack. It's called the Dab. It costs just a few dollars. You can re-grease it at this time um, or when you need to. All right, so we have that out. And you have to buy the Link base separately. I think it's like $10 at Paradise Arcade. So we're just going to drop that in. And you notice it sits a lot lower. That's, fun. That's what we want. Once you have that in, we want to just put the parts back in order. So this little ring collar first, then your spring, and it might be a little magnetic, so just watch that. Okay, there we go. Then the top collar, we'll kind of hover it over it for a second because we're gonna have to compress that spring down. All right. And then you wanna put it back in this brass ring. There's a little indentation on the top. Make sure that's on the top because we're gonna be putting this tiny little washer in right there and then our retaining screw slide that in just oops of course I magnetized so it's wants to be yeah there we go let's try this again oh there we go all right you'll want to get initial tightness and then once you start getting tighter, it is going to spin on your finger here. So you won't be able to t tighten it anymore, but we're not really done yet. So what you want to do is take your desired control top, whether it's ball top, bat top. I'm going with ball bat top to start with. That's what I grew up with. So, you know, 
Um, they should include this silver Allen key. Stick that in here, make sure it's tight, we're good. I kinda already did this ahead of time. To engage the link, you just push on the collar here, pull up, put it on, let it drop. Now we're connected. Now we can tighten the rest of it while holding this firmly. And there we go. From there, all we need to do is replace our Magenta board. Now, notice where my top is. I want to point this CN1 connector facing outwards like this. And if you took this off, you can put it back on and make sure that the USB connector, the CN1, and your CN2 and 3 are on this long edge that's not obstructed when you screw it back in. Then we just snap it back in and we're set to go. From there, it's pretty much a standard mount job, and we'll be showing that off in a future episode. So I hope this helped. I hope <laughs> words are hard sometimes. I hope this helped you convert your Paradise Magenta to using a link base. Welcome back to Zero to Fight Stick, the series that shows you how to build your own fight or arcade stick from the ground up. Okay, now in one of my episodes, I talked about installing the link into a Paradise Magenta. It's sort of like installing into a regular JLF, Sanwa, whatever. Uh, it has a few differences because you've got to remove this uh, bottom part, which is a little different. And if you're intimidated by circuit boards and such, don't be. Just remember it's those four screws and you know, you're good from there. All right, so Paradise has a, a mod called the Siren. Oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. That what it does is there's a mode button on the bottom here that toggles your mode. And as you can imagine, trying to open up your fight stick and, you know, let's say you, you play Rue and uh, you've got a setting for that in, in your Magenta, but you want to change to Guile. And he's a charge, you've got a totally different mode set up, but how are you going to get to that button? Well, there's two ways. One, you can wire a button and an LED from this CN4 connector and it shows the pinouts, ground, switch, LED, and plus five volts. Or you can install the siren. Now I haven't seen any videos on this, so it's not too hard, luckily. What you're going to need is the siren board, some screws that they include, and these nice little washers. So what you can do, I, like I said, I've kind of cheated and started already, but we just want to use Phillips believe a number two will do it. Unscrew these screws on top and you can see yes I still have the link installed. I'm definitely keeping that. Um, install this board. Remember when you're handling circuit boards like this try to handle them by the edges or use a grounding strap um, or if you have a grounding surface that's even better. Then we're gonna set these aside. Just insert your washers into here and then, whoops, we'll go ahead and lock it down. Oh, come on. I'm not going to tighten it quite yet. Come on. Try not to let your screwdriver just dance all over the head of the PCB here. It's not a good time. I think I need a smaller bit for these guys. So, let's go ahead and change. Obviously, you want to install this before you plug, you know, connect your joystick, so we're doing it here. All right, that's probably the hard part. Now, I'm gonna it's going to come with a few cables. So there's this guy that I received. Your colors are very, may vary. Uh, I obviously haven't wrapped them yet and made them pretty. And this four pin connector. So what you'll have is on the underside here, 
there's a four pin JSTPH and a three pin. Now plug in this cable here. Oops, make sure you're flipping it over so the locking tab is in the center and just push that in. You may want to connect it before you even screw it in to make your life a little bit easier, but either way works. Just be careful how much pressure you apply. Once you're connected there, there should be a slight click. You just connect to that CN4 connector. Boop, I'll pretend that's connected. And now your sign board is ready to go. Uh, there is this extra connector though. And that lets you connect, let's say you, the magnet you need, you didn't even <laughs> forgot to buy it or it's just not working for you. And you wanna connect an external mode button like we're doing. Uh, that's what this orange and white cable is for. So just plug it in here and then there's two leads that will connect to a standard Sanwa or a you know, gamer finger button as we're using. Um, just connect the, you know, that up and now you have an external mode button for when you don't have that magnet or uh, you just can't make this work for whatever reason. Okay, that's pretty much how to install a siren on your Paradise Magenta arcade stick. Welcome to Zero to Fight Stick, the series that shows you how to build an arcade stick or fight stick from the ground up. Okay, today's a pretty simple operation, but it's I've been anticipating it for a while. Today we're going to mount our joystick. This is the again the Paradise Magenta, and with the link base on it. So it's a nice detachable joystick that makes the entire assembly m much more portable, and well as portable as a giant 18-inch contraption can be. That's a good word, contraption. I'm totally not old. All right, now when your case gets here, you're gonna have some lock nuts down in the joystick area. Just take those off. They should be finger tight. Easy peasy. No tools needed for that. Uh, however, to get that in, you're gonna want a 5 16 bit on here and you'll be good to go. Now, the trick with mounting the magenta is it Yes, you could program, you could totally flip it over and have it wrong, and then in software correct it. But I prefer just to install it the way that it seems to be indicated from their videos. So when we did the link install, I marked this as the top. So there we go. Um, for what it's worth, the Magenta label faces your buttons kind of that way, and you're set. Um, we're not going to wire it in this episode, but I will talk about getting these guys back on. So you want to get these on just enough, but don't go all the way because you won't be able to make adjustments. So let's go ahead and get them on just enough. Kind of finger tight them on at first if that works better for you. Now, if, all, if you're not familiar with the Magenta joystick, it is a what it does is it turns analog into digital inputs, and it's also virtually silent. It's really cool. All right. So now we got it kind of in, but it's obviously it's moving. So we're gonna flip it around for you. Let's make sure you all can see it. We wanna make sure this is centered. So I'm gonna place my screwdriver on the back. I'm gonna center it up. I know that's going way out of frame, but it's really hard for me to see. And then just once I'm happy with where it is, I'm gonna lock down that first nut Use that ratcheting and there we go. Just, re just repeat for the other four and you'll be set in no time with the link base. And then you'll be able to put on your lower dish dust washer and your upper dust washer. Pull up on that collar and we're locked in. We've got a nice bicolor ball top. 
I actually really like those bubble tops that are coming out now or been out, whatever. Um, so I might get one of those in the future. And with the link, it's nice because you can change these really fast. All right. So happy in joystick installing, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, but one quick thing, or two quick things, really. First, if you haven't liked, comment, subscribe, you know, all the standard YouTube stuff, blah, blah, blah. Please do that. Uh, the other thing is, with the link, you can't install the dust washer that usually goes in underneath here. Um, it just won't fit. This little guy won't grab on, so don't do that. Uh, with a standard joystick, if you're, or if you're, you know, you're not, just not using the link, uh, you should be able to do that. I've seen that in other videos, but I'm uh, just saying. All right. Thanks. Have a great one, and uh, see you on the next episode.